What's up guys, welcome back again and today we're going to work on this 07 GMC Yukon. Uh, we're going to go through the process of testing out this alternator and replacing it. Um, I already tested it out so he's going to show you guys what I did and how it works. This is what I have so far in my setup. Here I have my jump box. I can start the car right now. Of course, the battery is pretty much gonna be dead at the moment. It has 5.6 volts. Um, just because, you know, they basically were on the highway. Alternator died on them and they just stopped charging. So right now the battery is completely dead. What I'm gonna do is turn on the jump box, turn on the car, um, and then the jump box will actually tell you what the alternator is charging of course this is this particular style jump box not all of them have this voltage but this is basically going to tell you the voltage that's coming to the battery not coming off of the alternator we could still have a wiring issue going from the alternator to the battery which i've seen it happen on some dodges um, but we're going to go through the process of elimination so we're going to turn it on right now um, and see how much voltage I'm getting to the actual battery. So let's see. All right, see. with the jump box on, because so I can turn on the car, it's telling me that it's 11.3 volts coming to the battery, which is not enough. But even this is counting whatever is on this battery. So if I turn this off, you're gonna see the actual voltage coming to the battery. 8.1, 7.4, and you see if it wants to die. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out the actual power coming straight out of the alternator to make sure that we don't have a wiring issue. Make sure we're not getting 40 volts coming out of here. So here we are. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me turn off the light so maybe it will help. Coming out of the alternator, I have 11.3, and if I turn off the jump box, it's going to drop down, so let me do that real quick. Hopefully we can catch this before the car dies. Not even a bolt coming out of it. Okay, there it goes, and it's completely dead. dead. Now, from what I've learned from experience, now every single car is different, so you might, guys might want to check it out, but for the most part, if an alternator is put, putting out below 12.5, 12 volts, then the alternator is not charging properly. Um, I've seen some Hondas uh, actually push out 12.3, 12.2, and the alternator still tests out good, and it's enough to keep the Honda running and charging everything. Mm -hmm but in this case right here for this yukon it's just not enough so next step um of course disconnect the battery um and once i disconnect the battery i'm going to take off this um serpentine belt and go ahead and remove the alternator which we already ordered so I'm gonna start off there and then I'll come back to show you how to take off that serpentine bar. Alright so here we are um, to remove the alternator we're gonna need a 15 millimeter socket with a wrench and a 10 millimeter you could do a socket but I'm gonna do a, a ratchet there I mean a wrench um, so basically first of all we're gonna put the 15 here and we're just going to push down on it. And once we push down, you're going to release the tension. It's a little hard to do with one hand to show you guys. But there it is. So once the tension is gone, um, let me get my ratchet back. Once that tension is gone, um, we're going to use this 15 to remove those bolts right there um, of course I already unplugged um, the battery and of course you're gonna turn this 
um, counterclockwise. And then back here we have one connector. You're just gonna press on the tab and pull up. There it is. And right here, the battery connector that goes to the battery itself. The battery connector that goes to the alternator is gonna be a 10 millimeter. So that's where I'm gonna use this one here. That's loose right there already. So um, once I take these two off, it, that's all it takes, just those two 50 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna use a pry bar. I'm just gonna put it right here between the bracket and the alternator just to push it out. But that's it. I'm gonna push it out, uh, go ahead and reinstall the new one, and then I'll come back and do a quick test afterwards to show you how the new one. Right, so here we are, installed the new alternator. Like I said, those two 50 millimeter bolts, that's it. Rerouted the serpentine belt, put it back in with the tensioner. Um, put back the um, 10 millimeter nut that goes back here for the battery cable and the connector. So all we got left to do is, of course, I plugged in the battery back already. So now it's gonna turn on the jump box and turn on the vehicle. And so we're gonna see the voltage that the new alternator is going to give out. Thirteen point eight, thirteen point nine. Turn off the jump box. We have fourteen point four. So very good. And just to be on the safe side, or just to show you guys, I'm going to show you the voltage coming straight out of the alternator. You're gonna need to charge it for a little bit, see what it does. The other alternator, when you turn on the vehicle, in the jump box, it would charge for maybe yeah. uh, a minute or so. Once it would start heating up, it would stop charging. So uh, sometimes they will charge when cold and they will stop charging when hot. So make sure you guys just check that. Um, and that's it, guys. Hope you guys this video helps somebody out, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you back in the next video.